How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Today's video is what happens to my body if my liver isn't working properly. Now, I have to say that I was drinking for 35 years. The last few of those years, I was drinking fairly heavily. I could drink maybe uh, at the tops 20, 25 pints. Um, but generally I drink maybe six, seven cans a night or maybe a bottle or two of wine. I wasn't drinking every day. Um, but I was drinking most days, right? Um, and I tried to moderate loads and loads and loads of times. Never succeeded, always went back to the same thing. But when I stopped, I quit for good, right? And I haven't had a drink now in five years. Don't feel like drinking, will never drink again. Uh, and that's my story, right? Um, I had pains in my liver, I had pains in my side. And I'm sure there was a lot of liver damage done by, not only by the alcohol I was consuming, but the lifestyle, the food that I was eating, and all that kind of stuff. I mean, when you're sort of eating bad foods it, it goes hand in hand uh, when you're drinking a, alcohol I should say it goes hand in hand I was drinking alcohol I was smoking cigarettes um, and I was eating a lot of takeaway food a lot of crap shite that was going into my body all around right so um, some of the damage that you can cause are, uh, when your liver is damaged this constant tiredness is one of the symptoms so you're just feeling fatigued all the time you're feeling like you haven't got any energy you're feeling like um, you know, no matter what you try to do, you've uh, got this um, overwhelming, um, consistent tiredness about you. You know, another one is a loss of appetite. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't get this, but you you find this in a lot of advanced alcoholics. I don't like the word alcoholic, but people who have been drinking for a long time who get up in the morning and drink, they just don't eat. Um, they rely on the alcohol for their sole form of calories and stuff like that, right? Um, your, you know, alcohol affects a lot of your body. So not only are your organs affected, your respiratory system is affected, your, um, your uh, heart system, your cardiovascular system is affected, and your immune system is affected as well. So one of the symptoms of um, having a damaged liver is that your body finds it much more difficult to fight off infections. You get a swelling around the stomach area with a lot of liver damage. Uh, that's caused by, uh, I think, a lot of the um, the bloating. You get bruising, which uh, your blood cannot clot properly, so you you get surface bruises. You know, and they, um, you're going to get a lot of these. Um, you feel confused, uh, so that's because the alcohol gets into your brain and starts affecting your brain and your uh, proper brain function and starts to be affected. And you know, among the other things that can happen within your organs is kidney failure. I mean, there's so many different things that can happen um, as a consequence of drinking this stuff. Um, cardi uh, cardiac um, droopy heart condition, I can't remember the term of it now, uh, is another weird one. Uh, cardiac myopathy, I think it's called. And it's basically where your, your heart muscle is no longer able to keep your heart in a, uh, in a suitable shape, so it starts to droop at the bottom. And you can understand the consequences of that, you know. At the end of the day, right, your liver is at the basis of your whole filtration system, right? Your whole detoxifying system, right? Um, if your liver is fucked, you are fucked, right? Without your liver, you cannot live, right? It's as pure as simple as that. So um, get the alcohol out of your system, get the alcohol out of your life. As soon as you take a single drop of alcohol into your body, your body reacts to that. Think back to the first drop of alcohol you ever consumed and what happened, you know? Your body tried to vomit it out, you know? Maybe not straight away, but after a couple of drinks, you know, it was back up again, you know? Your body gave you enough warning not to put this stuff in again, but of course we as a culture want to do this. We're brainwashed into believing that drinking alcohol is something that's good for us. So if you want help with quitting drinking alcohol, come over to alcoholmastery.com. We've got a couple of free courses over there that you can download straight away. Just uh, leave your name and email address and you'll get the first one out instantly. So uh, take care of yourself. I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Keep the alcohol out of your mouth. Keep yourself safe. Onwards and upwards. Take care. Bye-bye now.